Greetings everyone, 3D Hero here, and in today's video I'll be showcasing my very first Monster Hunter build that I will be expanding on with creating a varied and unique amount of builds for fun, DPS or team oriented tactics. So today's build is aimed at new users who want to get into using the Karma LBG but don't know where to start build wise. Here's a build that focuses on the pros that the Karma LBG specializes in and how with the right positioning and skill sets can make you take down any monster within a good few minutes, only using a level 1 or 2 normal shot mounts. As a heads up, this doesn't have to just focus on the Karma LBG, as you can use this build with any other LBG or heavy bow gun that focuses on using the normal S rounds 1, 2 or 3, so think of it as a all purpose build. As you can see on the screen, this is what I decided to go with, as the parts for the set is quite easy to get and gain with a few runs, and is a mix set that is designed to allow my LBG with rapid fire normal 2 rounds to pull off big numbers when landing on critical hits, while also, at the same time, allowing me to freely move around and hit other areas of the monster, so generally I can keep up the pressure and never back down. The armour and decoration I use are the current following. Karma LBG with a vitality gem and no augmentation, but if you do go with augmentation then go for affinity or attack boost. Doba Helm B with a scent gem, Doba Mel B with a tenderizer gem, Kaiser Rembraces A with a vitality gem, Nergiante's Coil A, Diablo's Nero Greaves A with a Vitality Gem, or you can go with a B version that gives you a level 2 gem slot. And lastly, a Attack Charm 3 for that extra damage for my LBG. Everything based around the build focuses on mobility, survivability, and more importantly, the damage output for the normal 1 and 2 rounds, and the damage the mines can produce when triggered. The Karma LBG comes with a base affinity of 3% when being used. My weakness exploit is maxed out which also gives me an extra 50% in affinity, only when I land on weak points for the monster. Then we have my attack bonus at max which gives me a plus 21 damage and an extra 5% in affinity for my weapon. And lastly, I added the normal shot skill which gives me an extra 10% in damage for using normal shot rounds. Overall the damage you'll be producing will be based around the 15 to 45 plus range when you're landing crit hits on the monster's weak point like shown. This may seem like small numbers for most people, but one thing to note, since Karma LBG allows normal shots 1 and 2 to be rapid fire, and each shot fired will be 3 for the price of 1 round in the magazine, so if you have 3 rounds, each one will fire 3 shots for 1 round each, to a total of 9 shots. So 1 burst shot could show 15, 15, 40, etc. This generally means damage wise, if you land 1 rapid fire round on a monster's weak point, then you can get a total of 60 to 80 plus damage per shots for that current weapon. On the screen I don't use any attack buffs till later in the fight as an example of the build, but you can see the numbers each vary at times from 12 to 30 to 40 plus. Also add in the fact that the mines can do around 111 damage depending on if you buffed yourself or not and you have a pretty great build for taking on generally half the monsters in game and is suitable for end game content. You can also increase the damage numbers even more if you have your Palika buff you or eat at a canteen or use damage buffs, etc. Then your damage will be going a lot more higher than shown. You can also customise your bowgun so that you can either do more damage at longer ranges or more damage in closer range. And it's kind of up to you where you want to go with this. I decided to kind of be more flexible in terms of more damage at longer ranges. But either way, it's a small damage boost. You can go with that or you can go with more reload, which is probably more suitable for the karma. This isn't something that's meant to be game changer or anything, but I did design this in mind to help newer light bowgun users to have a gear and weapon set in mind that can allow them to do good damage against any monster in game, and also survive a lot more hard encounters, whether in a group or solo play. It's strong and effective and does allow you to freely move things around if you don't like the end results for being a LBG user. At the same time though, it's there to help make the transitioning into light bowgun or heavy bowgun even more easier. Just remember, to get more damage you need to aim at the monster's weak point, and as long as you keep that in mind then you should be good to go with the set. So that comes to the end of the video, I do hope you enjoyed it, if you did like the video then a like and a sub would be appreciated. Also if there's any question you want me to help you with, then please leave a comment in the comment section and I'll answer it as best as I can. So once again thank you for watching and I do hope to see you all again soon.